So people ask me, what are you wearing on your arm? So, so these <laughs> monitors, they can come in different shapes. There are a few different brands. So these are continuous glucose monitors. What they do is to track your blood sugar level continuously while you have them on. So some are on for 10 days, some are 14 days. Why it's important to track your blood sugar level? So first of all, your blood sugar is a big indicator about your cardiovascular health. So the inflammation level, if you have a high blood sugar level, that blood sugar is gonna stick onto everything. It's gonna stick onto your DNA, your protein, your cell membrane, it's gonna damage and age you. So that process is almost like a toasting process, you know, the, the browning process, the sugar sticking to everything. So just think of yourself getting slowly toasted by the time you're fully cooked, then you're done. So we don't want to get there so fast. We want to slow down this cooking process. So you want to stabilize your blood sugar so it's not having all these spikes or having this elevated level. So you want to slow down this entire aging process. We can get all kinds of blood sugar spikes from food. Of course, we know sugar, simple carbs, they get broken down really fast and that elevates your blood sugar level. Of course, that sticks on to everything, cause this you know, inflam more inflammatory environment, of course, also feeds cancer cancer and you also triggers insulin level spike of course high, heightened insulin will shuffle everything uh, to your cells to to promote fat storage so you're having more trouble breaking down fat because you're always trying to store and of course increased insulin level also fuels cancer growth so you really don't want that level to be elevated you want to control that so one good hack is to track to see if you are actually keeping your blood sugar at a good level. And if you are spiking it, then you know you're triggering the, the all the sticking process and the insulin highs. I have um, you know used different methods to lower my blood sugar because it's not ideal. I did genet genetic testing that I'm more prone to insulin resistance. Half the population have insulin resistance. Um, 80% of them do not, do not know that they have it. So this is a great chance for you to see where your blood sugar is at. And there are different things you can do to help lower your blood sugar. Of course, you know, people heard about metformin, that's a medication that is used to treat diabetics, but it turns out that people with diabetes who takes metformin lives longer than people who don't have diabetes. So this is how we discovered that, you know, this metformin has anti-aging properties. Also, these people have lowered cancer rates. So it's a really fascinating drug. Um, so metformin, berberin, um, cinnamon, there are, you know, various things that you can do, different uh, hacks such as apple cider vinegar, and of course, choosing what you eat. So one interesting tidbit is that uh, white rice actually spikes blood sugar about 30 to 40 points higher than pasta. So I didn't know that. And that was probably why when I eat Asian food, I have such a sh huge spike of blood sugar. So just people be aware. And I would have never known that if I didn't have this blood sugar monitor. So it just, it's fascinating. Some people have hypoglycemic episodes when they're sleeping, they have no idea, but your body, you know, there's an imbalance in your blood sugar metabolism. So just by one snapshot, when you go to the lab um, to check your blood sugar level, you have no idea how your level is, is, is changing during the day and what's going on in your internal environment. So it's a powerful tool and I love it. And I just, I really enjoy it. It actually is a great way to modify my behavior. I sometimes I see something I probably shouldn't eat. And if I don't have the monitor on, you know, I don't see the consequence, but if I have the monitor on and I eat that, I see my blood sugar spike and I just, it's not pleasant for me to, to, you know, look at that for ruining my very nice flat curve. So, um, so then I don't eat it. So it turns out to be a very, very good tool to keep me uh, accountable. So with that information, please let me know what your thoughts are and leave your comments. I'm always happy to engage in conversations. Just remember, I'm here to help you.